than 404,020. 404,020 declared cases have been registered in 175 countries and territories. And Italy has suffered the most deaths with 6,820 out of 69,176 declared infections. Let us verify that report from Jeremia San Vicente Abad reporting and joining us live now from Italy. Mia. Yes, hi Alma, good evening there in the Philippines. Uh, so it's day 15 of lockdown here in Italy. And as per health monitoring activities related to the spread of coronavirus across national territory, at present 54,030 people are currently positive. To date, the total number of assessed cases in Italy is 69,176. 8,326 patients have recovered and 6,820 6, have died. Approved yesterday by the Council of Ministers, a new anti-coronavirus decree which incorporates and tightens all the prohibitions and sanctions established so far to address the emergency. So up to five years in prison for those who violate the quarantine if tested positive, and up to 3,000 euros fines. Previously, it was 206 euros. So now it's up to 3,000 euros fine for those who do not respect the other rules. The national state of emergency is until July 31, but the restrictive measures could be lifted even earlier, explains Prime Minister Conte. Meanwhile, the number of the new positives in Italy is decreasing for the third consecutive day, so it's good news. And the number of deaths in the last 24 hours was 743. Crucial topic here right now uh, is that gas stations have declared they are closing starting tonight, March 25. The gas unions announced this in a note. The stop of petrol stations is linked to the coronavirus emergency, and they said, quote, we on our own are no longer in a position to ensure either the necessary level of health security or the economic sustainability of the service. As, and as a result, the fuel filling stations will simply start to close. From Wednesday night, those of the highway network, including junctions and bypasses, and gradually all the others also along the ordinary road network, unquote. The Minister of uh, Economic Development, Stefano Patuanelli, has called the conference call with the presidents of the fuel distributors trade associations. And actually the conference is now ongoing. And also yesterday, the Prime Minister's appeal, <clears throat> Excuse me. The Prime Minister's appeal is um, was I invite everyone to postpone on the announced progressive stop to gasoline plants because, of course, uh, it is an essential service, and we will find a solution with Minister De Micheli, But we cannot allow this public service to be interrupted. This was said last night by the Prime Minister Conte in an interview with TG Cinque. And on the results of the guidelines imposed by the government, Civil Protection Department's head Borrelli said the restrictive measures from two weeks ago are starting to be felt. And faced with the data on contagion slowing down for two consecutive days, Borrelli remains cautious. The measures of two weeks, of two weeks ago are starting to show. And in the next few hours, we should see other effects and we will understand if uh, the growth curve is actually really flattening. And Ranieri Guerra, Deputy Director of the World Health Organization, believes that the peak of the contagion could be reached this week. And the next few days will be decisive because this will be the times when the government measures of 15 to 20 days ago should take effect. And on a positive note, uh, another Russian plane has landed in Italy to help counter the serious consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. The 15th military transport aircraft from Russia, um, of the Russian uh, aerospace forces carrying equipment um, 
for diagnosis and disinfection has delivered special means to fight the coronavirus at the Italian air base in Pratica di Mare, the Russian Ministry of Defense told Interfax. So right now, Italy needs 100 million masks every month. It needs thousands of lung ventilators. And just last week, after working with embassies and consulates around the world, um, Foreign Minister Luigi Di Maio said that we signed a contract with 100 million masks that will start coming in at the end of this week. And over the last week, Italy has been receiving help from around the globe. 53 doctors sent from Cuba and they have landed in Milan and they are virologists and immunologists who will help colleagues at the hospital in Crema, one of the municipalities most affected by the coronavirus. They are currently in uh, the field hospital created by the men of the third health department in Belinzago Novarese in collaboration with the civil defense. And Foreign Minister Luigi Di Maio announced on Facebook that in the next few days, about 10 million masks will arrive in our country, sent from Egypt, China, India, Russia, Brazil, and the European Union. And as the Foreign Minister also, also explains, there will be a first batch of 6 million and then 20 million masks every week. So, um, Mia, how uh, obedient has the Italians been? Uh, or has the Italians been with these um, new restrictive measures that the government has uh, released? Well, reports, uh, actually four days ago, there has been a report that um, more than 220,000 people have been checked. And of those 220,000 people, almost 10,000 have been reported for uh, violating the, the rules. And um, 260 of those were for um, declaring false. So, for example, uh, a person goes out and is checked. And on the form, he says that he's going to work to this, um, to this employer. And the police will, what, what the police will do is check if he is actually going to that employer. So he's, they're calling that employer and if they verify that he's not actually going to work, then that's the case where he will be um, given a fine. So before it was 206 euros, now it's from 400 to 3,000 euros. All right. I hope they follow the guidelines set by the government and uh, be obedient to the uh, authorities. Thank you so much uh, and take care, Mia. Dates. This is Jeremia San Vicente Abad from Rome, Italy. We live in interesting times.